Okay, so now we're going to use the Japanese Sora band to do some addition. So let's start off really simple with, let's say, 1 plus 2. So we would start off by having one bead, and then we have to add 2, so we would just add 1 and 2 to get our number 3 as desired. Let's make things a little bit more complicated, and let's say we want to add 2 plus 6. So we can start off here with 1, 2, and we want to add 6. Now there's two ways of doing this. We can go 1, 2, now remember this is 5, so that would be the third, but we have to move these down. So that's 3, 4, 5, 6, and we have 8. Now let's do that again, but in another way. We have 2, and instead, if you remember, this is 5, and we want to add 6, so 5 plus 1 is 6, and that gives us 8 as we want. Now let's move on to something even more complicated, but not too difficult just yet. Let's go with 7 plus 5. So if we start with 7, that's where we're at. We have 7, and we want to add 5. So we have 1, 2. Okay, but now we have no more 1s here, so we have to take from this column the 10s. So adding one more, we have 10 there, but we have to remove this. Now that's the third one we added, plus 4 and 5. There we go, so we have 12. There's another way of doing this, which is what people would have done most likely when they used this abacus. And let's go back to what we originally had. So we had 7, and we want to add 5. Now there's not 5 beads in this column, so what we can do instead is add 10 in this column, meaning we added 5 too many, so we have to subtract 5 from this column. Subtracting 5, what remains is 12, and that's good to go. So there's a lot of different techniques, and depending on your skill level and your intuition, you can perhaps make up own tricks to speed things up, but we'll take things quite slowly and simply as we progress. So let's move on to something that is a bit more complicated. Here's the question, 157,458 plus 496,854. Now to save time, I'm going to just copy this number right up here. So let's write it down, 157,458. I would advise you not to do it like this, only because if you're just beginning, it's good to have practice and to understand how to create this. But if you know what you're doing and you can trust yourself, by all means, go ahead and make life a little simpler. So let's add 496,854. Now unlike our addition today, it actually starts in the left column. So let's add 4 over here. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 9 in this column. Now we don't have 9 to add, so we're going to add 10 over here and subtract 1 over here, so that's 5, 4, that's subtracting 1. Now we have to add 6 over here, the same problem here, so we have to add 10, and we're back to how it kind of looked before, but we have to subtract 4 from over here, so that's subtracting 5, but now we have to add one more. And now we have to add 8 to this column, so once again, we are over the limit, so we have to add 10 over here and subtract 2 over here. And now we have to add 5 over here, same thing. Add 10 over here, subtract 5 over here. And we have to add 4 over here, and it's the same problem. We don't have enough beads, so we're going to add 10 here and subtract 6. That's 5 and 1. So our final answer is... 654,312, and let's just double check if that's correct. We'll scroll down, and there it is, it is correct. So that's how you add using the Japanese Soroban.